Here are some ways that the food industry is poisoning us. All right, keep in mind before we even dive into her examples that the entire claim is that this is the way the food industry is poisoning us. So keep that in mind as we go through these claims. Number one, we've got wood chips in all our food disguised as cellulose. All right, first of all, there is not cellulose in all of our foods. However, it is in a lot of our foods because it is the main constituent of plant cell walls. Therefore, it is in most fruits and vegetables. Trees are large plants. There is cellulose in wood. Therefore, it can be derived from wood, yes. Cellulose that is isolated and refined from wood is the same exact chemical compound as the naturally occurring cellulose in produce. It can be added to things like grated cheese as an anti-caking agent. So yes, cellulose can be derived from wood. That does not mean that wood chips are just being thrown into food. In addition, let's go back to the original claim that this is poisonous. No, it is not poisonous. If that were the case, all fruits and vegetables that you eat would basically be poisonous, which is obviously not true. Number two, 100% fresh squeezed orange juice is basically perfume. Sure, it's freshly squeezed, but then it's these tanks that keeps it fresh for up to a year. The thing is that this method makes the orange juice lose a lot of flavor, so they put flavor packets in them. These flavor packets are just a bunch of undisclosed chemicals with fragrance added to them. And these flavor packets are made by perfume companies, like people that make all right, yes, this does happen with orange juice. First of all, it cuts down on food waste. Second of all, the flavor packets are made up of compounds that are naturally present in orange juice already. These aromatic compounds, of course, cross over with aromatic compounds and fragrances. A lot of flavors do. So could companies that create flavors also create fragrances? Sure, that would make sense. It's a lot of the same aromatic compounds. Back to the original claim, is this an example of the food industry poisoning us? No. Number three, ammonia-infused burger. Okay, so the claim here is that burger meat is doused in ammonia. Ammonia gas can be used to treat ground beef to reduce the risk of E. coli and salmonella. The alkaline environment it creates helps to control this bacteria. However, this does not present a health concern to humans. Ammonia is a product of protein metabolism and therefore routinely forms in the human body. It's converted to urea and is excreted in the urine. Back to her original claim, is this an example of the food industry poisoning us? No. These fake blueberries are made out of corn syrup and a bunch of chemicals. And if the boss says it uses real blueberries, 99% of the time it's not true. All they have to do is add one real blueberry to the mix, and bam, they can market it as having real blueberries. Okay, first of all, even real blueberries are made up of 100% chemicals. If it says made with real blueberries, yes, there have to be real blueberries in it. They also have to be listed in the ingredients, so you can look at the ingredient deck. If it just says blueberry flavored, then it just has a flavor in it, and it has to indicate whether it's a natural or artificial flavor. This was an interesting example for her to choose because that muffin mix actually contains real blueberries. So whether made with real blueberries or not, it's still not poison. All right, sure, that one's true. So free range just means that they have to have access to the outdoors. I agree it's a misleading label, but does it mean the food industry is poisoning us? Again, no. Using labels that have no scientific backing whatsoever. Yep, those front of package labels are basically just marketing. Still doesn't mean it's poison.